I sense the presence, the presence of a living thing. Is it perhaps an animal? No. I can sense the fear from you, the way your body is shivering. Are you perhaps a human? So it is already that time again. That is particularly interesting. Tell me, human, what business do you have with this home, which has been rumored to be haunted for the longest time? Not much of a talker, are you? Perhaps my instincts are deceiving me, and you are not able to comprehend what I am saying. Maybe you really are a mere animal, unable to understand human speech. But perhaps, it's different. You can hear me, I presume. The shiver that went down your spine confirms it now. You can hear me, loud and clear. Yet you are not running away. Which means one thing. You are the new owner of this house. Am I correct in assuming so? My gut feeling was correct, as always, of course. Welcome to your new home for the following weeks. Allow me to introduce myself, first of all. It would be impolite to scare you to the core without telling you my name, now would it? So, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kiro Hishimori. I will tell you more about me other than my name, but frankly, I seem to have forgotten the rest. It's kind of funny. I seem to not be able to remember how I died, or anything of my life for that matter. I've tried to remember, and even after a month, I only remember my name, which you have already heard. I just remember waking up in this house on the floor. Back then, I hadn't realized that I had died. I tried leaving this place, this house that looks like it's about to fall apart if you even just blow against the walls. The atmosphere here was unsoothing, but then I couldn't leave, as if an invisible barrier kept me here. Actually, there is one more name, well, last name, Nakamura, that name lingers in my mind, yet I have no idea who it is. All I know is that they are the owner of this very house. Have you met them? You bought the house from this person, correct? From Nakamura. I see, so I was right. That at least confirms that what remains of my memory is indeed correct, that my memories were only erased and not altered to contain misinformation, which is honestly a big relief. When I couldn't leave, I was planning on letting myself starve. That was until the others told me that I had died because I could not leave this home just like them. For a long time, I was on the verge of insanity. I was lost, not knowing what to do. But I found that the best way to cope with this feeling of uselessness was accepting how useless we spirits truly are. We can only interact with the other spirits in this very home, and unlike the ghosts you hear in stories, we are unable to possess people or objects. At least, that would make being a spirit a lot more fun. I've tried asking the others 
about my memory. They told me something rather interesting. The longer one is a ghost, the more their memory returns to them. It's like we are born with amnesia, slowly recovering from it. I don't know how that exactly works, but it's just what I've been told. From that, you should have noticed, I am indeed not the only one in this place. There are four of us. I'm sure you'll see them as time goes by. Although, I am quite confused. Before, when random people would enter, because it's a so-called haunted house, nobody would ever notice our presence. So, why now? I guess there are a lot of things I don't know yet. Perhaps you will be able to find out what I cannot without being able to inspect this house thoroughly. But then again, maybe you don't want to solve any mysteries. Perhaps you aren't interested. Maybe you are putting up a brave font only to try and sell this house to another person in the future. Doom them with a house that holds spirits. But to be honest, you yourself are to blame as well, are you not? After all, you looked at this shady home and accepted it in its current conditions. Several windows are broken. The front door does not appear to have a lock. The stairs have broken several times in the past. And one of the bedrooms is currently not available for use due to a certain incident that happened with one of the previous house owners. Oh. You don't have to worry about what has happened in the past, for that is in the past. This is the present. You shouldn't waste your time by dwelling on the past, and you shouldn't waste your time trying to predict the future. It's all futile in the end, and will just make you regret the decision to dedicate your precious time on it. Well. I will give you this much. It might not look like much, and I'm picking up some odd signals from you. And it's hard to explain, as if my body, knowing it cannot be hurt by you, is still telling me to be wary. So I will do just that. You might see me again in the future, or you might never see me again. That is entirely up to you, entirely up to you, if you choose to live here and uncover the mysteries that are here, or you give up if you make the decision I want you to make, you'll meet them quite soon. So goodbye for now, stranger. choice.